Hello and welcome. This is Rufelmonger. And my friends, today we are taking a look at the Breakers Collection, a compilation of Breakers and Breakers Revenge that just recently came out. So in this video, we're going to be looking at just what exactly does the Breakers Collection package offer us. And also, if you don't know much about Breakers, to tell you what the games are about, because Breakers, specifically Breakers Revenge, is a classic and it's just plain fun. So let's rewind time a little bit and let me tell you about Breakers. So it was the 90s. Now the 90s, they certainly were no 80s. Oh boy, howdy. But the 90s had one big thing and that was a heck of a lot of fighting games. We had your Street Fighters, your Mortal Kombat, your Virtual Fighters, your Tekkens and all that. And we had some other games that, you know, didn't make quite as big of a splash. Breakers and Breakers Revenge came out just a little bit after kind of the 2D craze kind of came and went. And I think due to that, sort of unfairly even a little bit, it kind of got overlooked. Although in time, it definitely got a bit of a following because once again, it's a pretty cool game. So via emulation, later things like Fightcade, all that kind of stuff, you could definitely find people playing Breakers over the years. So as far as the game goes, it's a four button game. So a light punch, heavy punch, light kick, heavy kick and your usual variety of 2D special moves, including projectiles, uppercuts. Some of the characters are definitely uh, inspired by other characters from Street Fighter, let's put it that way. But honestly, that's just kind of how it was in the 90s. You got a decent roster here, so like Sho is, well, your Shoto. He's like effectively the Ryu of the game. PL's the Fancer, Condor's the Native American Grappler, and there's a lot of those. Rilla is not Blanca. Tia is another kind of all-rounder. Alcyon, sort of your freaky, not Dalsum, stretchy character. Mahurl's big footsies boy. Daolong is not Guile. Saizo is your resident ninja. And the last character we don't talk about because he's the boss and you shouldn't play him in a serious match. Unlike some other Street Fighter likes of the era, there's also a good amount of mobility, all sorts of dashing. Some characters can also cancel their dashes into attacks, making it more like a modern NetherRealm Studios kind of game. Good way to keep up pressure and get your fancy combos in. But one of the biggest things about this game is just the characters are so fun. Like Mahurl has like his best Karnov impression and just slams you down with his gut that he can just expand and roll you up with. And this is his super command grab as well. Condor has a million different grabs and his take on the spinning pile driver is pretty wild. Uh, just the general angle, let alone the super version where he's just friggin' going everywhere all over the screen. Halcyon has the poison attack. Like, yeah, a lot of these characters are ripoffs of Street Fighter characters. I'm not going to lie to you, right? But they have their own take on it, and they're all just really fun in their own ways. It definitely does stand on its own, in my opinion. And just to bring it up, even though this is a much more advanced thing, but uh, the Breakers games have the Breaker system where you can cancel block stun or hit stun into other moves. Like here... Uh, Tia's going for overhead, and when I'm getting hit, even though it's a natural two-hit combo, I can backdash out of it, right? It's for more high-level play and all that kind of stuff, but it adds a big level of depth of knowing what combos are real combos, what combos are real blocks done, like what's fake, what's real, and what you can get out of and what you can't get out of. Like Tia's overhead, even though it naturally combos, I can uppercut through it. If you just want to mess around and mash, you absolutely can, and Breakers is really good for that. It's a really just fun game to mess around with. But if you want that extra layer of depth, it's there too. So now let's talk features because this is a modern re-release of an old game and that's probably why you're getting it, right? You want the classic game with a bunch of new stuff. So first up, you have your gallery. If you want all sorts of fan arts and unlockables, collectibles, that kind of stuff is there for you. As a collection, naturally, you get both Breakers and Breakers Revenge. Realistically, Breakers Revenge is the reason you're here. It's the game that brings everyone to the dance. It's basically just a better version of Breakers. Arcade versus Team Battle, that is new. Online, training, all that kind of stuff is there. If you want that classic 90s style arcade mode battle, fight the cheap boss, fight all the cheap CPUs, it is there in spades, let me tell you. If you want to crank that difficulty up, they will button read you like an MF'er. Uh, I had to turn the difficulty down to beat the game, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's that classic 90s cheapness that you've always been hoping for. Now, as far as the training mode goes, because if you want to take a fighter even mildly seriously, you're going to be putting your time in training mode. They got a lot of good options for you. 
usual health, stun, all that kind of stuff. But yo, if you want damage, stats, we have it because, you know, that obviously was in the original 90s release. If you want to see your inputs, just like any modern fighter, you absolutely can. And also, uh, even though it was a 90s fighter, I do want to say Breakers was always really good about the inputs. A lot of 90s fighters have like super hard inputs that are difficult. Uh, in comparison to the era, Breakers is much more manageable. Let's put it that way. It's not like busting in an old King of Fighters or something where everything's just super difficult. And to go the extra mile, we got full hitboxes and hurt boxes. So if you ever want to see how the sauce was made, you absolutely can with this. Extra fun because we got some of those 90s hitboxes, which uh, they don't really let you have in modern games no more. It was just a different time. And now let's talk the online because for a lot of people, the online is the main event and I would say very deservedly so. If you want to play for real, you probably want to play online. And how is the online? Well, one, as you see, there's a couple rollbacks here every now and then. It always depends on your connection. It always depends on your stability. But yes, it is rollback netcode. So don't worry. It's not delay based or anything. And as all things, if your connection is great, you got no problems. If your connection, you know, is not so great, if your ping's a little high, things can be a little rough sometimes. That's just life, I guess. Uh, no matter how good the rollback can be, the connection is only ever as good as the worst of the two connections. As far as features and just letting you know what's up, it's pretty robust. There's no hidden stuff going on here. And one of the best parts is, yes, there is cross-play. So if you picked it up on PlayStation, but your friend picked it up on Steam, no problem, you get to play with each other. It is one of those things, rollback and cross-play, where we're getting where we need to be on that front in the fighting game community. But, you know, I'm still, I don't take it for granted. Let's put it that way, right? Uh, so many years of uh, so many issues, <laughs> let's put it that way, that every time I see it, I'm just very, very happy. Maybe in a few years, it'll all the way be the standard. I don't have to think about it. But for now, every time I see rollback, every time I see crossplay, I'm a happy camper. And as far as uh, the feature set online, yes, you have ranked matches. Yes, you have casual matches. Yes, you have uh, lobbies. You know, you can just invite your friends, all that kind of stuff. What you would usually expect in a fighter, hey, it's all here, no worries. So in the end, I wouldn't consider this a review. I'm not going to review the game. You're not going to get like a star rating out of me or anything. But for what it is, it's a classic fighting game franchise, one that hasn't had necessarily all the eyeballs on it over the years. And it's put together in a very competent package. A lot of love went together in this collection. Just the fact that they went the extra mile with like hurt boxes, frame date, all that kind of stuff in training mode. Good feature set for online play with rollback netcode and crossplay, which is definitely not the standard just yet, crossplay especially. So that's good. And all in all, I think it's just a very solid package. So once again, the Breakers collection is out now, as of the day I put out this video. And if you want to try out one of the classic 90s fighters that, you know, wasn't quite as popular as all the rest, I think Breakers is worth your time. And it's just a fun game to mess around in. And, well, that's about it, I guess. So, my friends, that is it for the video. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. And go out and play some Breakers Revenge.